Hello to you, my 1,100 followers and everybody else. As you might know, my channel has been focusing for all the past few years on musical instruments, very specifically hurdy-gurdies, with a focus on uh, affordable hurdy-gurdies. After many years of cheap hurdy-gurdies, I finally wanted to buy something uh, more, let's say, uh, fit for many. Finally wanted something that came out of the workshop as an alto instrument. And uh, I finally got this one. This Hurdy is a German make from uh, Helmut Seibert. This is the uh, what he calls the Pilger layer shape. It's very compact and, uh, and functional, but you can have it with all the options that you want. In my case, uh, I have two chanters two drum strings, one trumpet, however, with a capo duster which allows me to shift the pitch up and down as needed, wooden tangents and wooden chain bags as well, and also, most importantly, a piezo pickup. You can see the, the hole here. As I said, the choice fell on Zybert for a number of reasons. First of all, he is rather affordable. This Hardy comes at the basic price of 1500 euros, which then can be upgraded with all the optionals, as I said. So eventually, my own costs somewhere around 1700 euros. The pricing is absolutely uh, transparent. You just you, you just go to the website and you see the uh, the actual prices and the uh, the cost of every single uh, optional you want. From the very first time I got this into my hand, I thought, okay, this is the hurdy for me. The keyboard just feels great. I, I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> nothing rational, nothing scientific, but it just works well with me. As for everything else, I found myself very, very satisfied with the sound overall. That said, I have a few issues with this instrument as well, especially because it is a professional range instrument, so um, I expected a little more reliability. First of all, this Hurdigadi suffers a lot from sticky keys, which is normal. I mean, the, the keys in themselves are in plywood, which is rather um, resistant to um, moisture change, but it's still wood, so it might get uh, sticky. It doesn't get any rattling, so it doesn't shrink too much, but on one occasion we were in open air, it was uh, August, and it had been raining all day, and then it went sunny all of a sudden, and this caused uh, huge amounts of moisture in the air, which is like beyond normal, of course. However, in, the, in those conditions, I, uh, the, the kids were so stuck, I couldn't play this. Uh, I had to stop and uh, uh, I brought this back home and, and I took a different hurdy gurdy. It was just impossible to keep on playing. So again, uh, nothing against this maker or this hurdy gurdy, but I, 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 th I think wooden keys uh, should be a thing of the past. Perhaps it's time we move on to some more reliable material. Furthermore, the tangents. Uh, again, I didn't want, you can ask for metal tangents. Uh, he makes them. The low chanter is very low, it's a C3 strings, but being so thick also means that it can, it can, um, it can rattle a bit. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you an example. So if I go a bit faster... So if I go a bit faster, the string, the middle of the string vibrates so widely that it actually touches uh, one of the tangents here in the middle. Now, this is something I can avoid by just going, you know, slower. Again, it's not a problem, you know, something that I cannot solve, but it kind of annoys, annoys me. That said, you probably want to hear a sound sample now. Uh, I'm going with the, uh, the sound in the, like, in the open air, recorded through the, uh, through the camera. I will post uh, a, a couple of short sequences, though, later on, which are recorded through the piezo pickup.
So, what are my final thoughts on the Helmut Zeber Hurdy Gurdies? Prices are quite variable. They can go uh, anywhere between, I think, around 1200 up beyond 2000 euros, depending on the design of the model and on the optionals. Pros are that it is a very uh, lightweight, portable, yet robust instrument. It is fully customizable, as I said, so you can choose what you want on your hurdy-gurdy. I mentioned uh, before things like metal tangents, uh, mechanical tuners, but you can also add strings, uh, resonating strings. You can change the design, meaning the color, the, sh the shape, uh, the pattern, whatever. It has a very good quality piezo. It's not included, but um, you, can order, you can order one. And it's placed in a very sensible position, which is under the... Um, under the, the, the Chanter Bridge. The keyboard is very smooth, in my opinion. I found myself very um, in love, very much in love with it, but that's uh, absolutely personal. And I also very much like the sound. Uh, it's deep and rich. I like the octave um, intervals of the chanters. I like the drones. I pretty much like everything about the sound of this hurdy gurdy. I'm also quite in love with the string lifters. There are these two levers that you might have noticed that allow you to. Um, engage or disengage uh, each one of the two chanters. Uh, I didn't pay any extra for them and they are absolutely uh, very, very useful. But then I also want to be objective and I have to tell you what are the cons of this particular hurdy-gurdy. First of all, as I mentioned, it may suffer from sticky keys. This is not a given, you know, it might or might not happen and depends a lot on the weather and other factors, also on the age of the gurdy, because as the wood stabilizes with time, I expect to have less and less this kind of problem. Last but not least, this gurdy does not come with an adjustable bridge, meaning you cannot lift or lower the bridge and therefore you cannot really adjust the angle with which the strings, the chanter strings touch the wheel. Uh, this is something that you have to um, adjust by yourself using a piece of paper placed under the, the string or by filing the slots. Again, this is very much standard uh, setup for hurdy gurdy, so it doesn't trouble me. Uh, but I thought an adjustable bridge would have been a great add on on this model. Well, as far as I can tell, um, great price, great maker, it's very nice to deal with, uh, very attentive to your requests. Just do yourself a favor and um, get those metal tangents.